Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to Teenopolis. So today we are starting on the layout of the palace and building a squirrel tree. Which is basically just a huge fancy like tree because I said in the last episode and I think since we started on the castle that I wanted to build a huge tree because I'm a squirrel and it makes sense to have like a huge tree then. At least it makes sense in my mind. But anyway, today we are not going to finish the palace because I uh, I don't know if you can call it a mistake or just a big uh, oof because I kind of got stuck on the block building part of building which is like the m starting part for me when you build something which you can see right now on screen it's just like building the basic grid walls and then you know toying around with them I got stuck on there like I spent the entire yesterday just building blocks and then deleting them and then actually sometimes I would just go back, build the exact same thing, delete it again, so yeah. I'm kind of like usually behind schedule when it uh, when that happens. Anyway, with the palace, I did say I wanted to have like a reference of like the palace of, if I'm correct, Colossus or at least just the big Minoan palace because, well, it's a huge cost. I wanted to say castle, like I'm probably going to say castle and palace interchangeably, but it's a huge palace and it's, well, I actually looked it up and there's not a lot of like ancient Grecian palaces, or at least not to my knowledge, if you have any like references of actual like ancient Grecian palaces, please send them my way, but I didn't find one, so... Of course there were there palaces, but I just, right now, I just haven't found anyone, so, or anyone. Uh, my brain, again, does like a 180 and just refuses to talk normally. <laughs> anyway, for the palace, it was mostly just block, well, this is like the first time that's like, block building is actually like, it's just building blocks because the Minoan Palace on Crete is just blocks. Like there's, I thought like, oh, you know, maybe like some of those temple roofs with like pediments and all that. Though I did later on build a courtyard because that's actually a central thing in most Greek or Grecian houses that you have like a courtyard and then all the rooms surround that courtyard. And then you have like, I think one big hallway that goes past the courtyard and while well, it goes from the front and to the back of the house. Yeah, Grecian buildings were actually mostly built surrounding that courtyard, so... The outside, or as what I would call the outside, wasn't really, you know, important. Everything facing the courtyard was more important. Again, I might be wrong, but if I'm wrong, please do say it. I probably say that too many times by now but I still just want to make clear that if I say something wrong do call me out on it so I can improve my knowledge of ancient Grecian architecture and such but also that I don't just waddle along in basically in my ignorance but yeah if you pause it at just the right second you can see the start of like the courtyard and this palace right now is well as I'm recording this voiceover has too, but then I also think of like the entrance area or the entrance plaza to also turn that into a courtyard because it just has the right position for it. I also want to build some kind of attraction or some kind of thing in here just so that people come up to this because in, it just feels too dead otherwise. Anyway, I did look back at the last video and then I thought like oh I have built like the spires on top of the towers for the bridge I forgot to show it and then I thought like oh yeah and in the original plan of the pa palace I want to say palace <laughs> that's probably from Palestina 
probably also saying that wrong. But then I thought like, all right, it's not well actually building a spire is a little bit more annoying than building a dome which i tried first like i first tried to build a dome because it has just been too long for me without building a dome but uh it just didn't fit in this place so what you see me build right now is completely gone like i tried it because it just felt like the right area to have a dome but then uh, yeah i am however glad that i st stuck with the idea of having another sort of like gate to the palace because the bridge actually doesn't have ga any gates like i've kind of toyed around with having a gate in on the, or on the bridge but uh, i just didn't go with that because it just again i built teenopolis mostly with like Oh, you know, this looks great from this angle and this angle and this is great for screenshots. Like everything is built to just look good and not completely be accurate in a way. Like, again, like the bridge is completely just a fantasy bridge. It's nowhere near like architecturally sound. Like it would just collapse. Maybe like with today's building materials, it might stay up, but uh, yeah. But then again, you have like also, if you play Skyrim, like you have the arch in like solitude that would also collapse, but it just looks pretty. So, you know, it just looks pretty. So just keep it in there. <laughs> That's also with Tionopolis. Like if something looks pretty enough, then I can disregard it being not like stable or not being accurate yeah there's like just is it pretty enough no all right then it needs to be accurate is it not accurate but is it pretty all right then it you know it's just that kind of thinking when it comes to Tianopolis. but after rambling because yeah it's another one of those episodes we're finally actually building these spires the first mock-up, which, well, building the spires, I just built first the, basically the corner pieces. But first, I wanted to make them a lot higher, as you could have seen. But, uh, yeah, because the gate or the towers are already on a higher position than the bridge is, they just looked insanely high. L like, just... A crazy amount of height and that's all just because of perspective and such and I actually thought like oh you know if you look from something like you look from ground level onto a high building the higher you go the smaller things look because it's farther away so I thought like all right if I make a spire that from well the level that the spire is built upon if it looks high then it will look normal when you look from ground floor no <laughs> this time that didn't go well so actually this spire is a little bit more i wanted to say stooped but just a little bit less height than the actual spires on the bridge but the building technique is almost the same well almost like for the bridge spires i actually worked in basically the polar opposite of how i'm building this, this spire right now like the corner pieces were what i built last with the bridge spires but with this i just thought like all right it might be a bit easier if i first do the corner pieces and then just fill it in and then another mistake i tried to build thicker corner pieces or chunkier corner pieces and then uh, no don't do that or at least, if you are me, don't do that. It just... Like, I have a very thin amount or tiny amount of patience. And yeah, it, uh, it got deleted. But I wanted to have kind of like it sloping outwards at the end. Because... Otherwise, for me, it would look a little bit too similar to like the spires or, well, just the spires on the 
bridge so I wanted to have it slooping outwards but then of course when you look from beneath you can see it's you know those support pieces I if I'm correct so you would look see just the underside of that and that didn't look pretty so I just added a beam to make it look a little bit more pretty and yes you can see me looking at it from the bridge just to make sure that like the proportions are correct Again, Tionopolis is mostly built just for taking screenshots. And also in the back, if you look like one minute ago, you could see like a huge building with just a white wall. That's the great libraries. I can't completely, well, yeah, let's just say it like, I can't completely remember your name, so I'm not even going to attempt butchering it. But someone asked like, oh, with the planetarium, I wanted to again call it an astral uh, words today. <laughs> but when I built the planetarium, somebody asked like, oh, are you going to build an academy? And although that would be a nice thing to build, I don't think I'm ever going to build an academy because, well, it's another huge building and Tionopolis is already quite full of like huge buildings. Or at least I will probably make it a huge building. But there is the great library of Theonopolis. Which I still need to finish the backside of. So yeah. Anyway, back to the tower because yeah, it felt a little bit weird with the bridge towers already being quite more decorative instead of defensive. To also make these towers completely decorative so I added the matriculations again and some merlons and just a little bit more of like a defensive function to the towers because this is the final defense layer. This is if you breach the castle this is the place where well if you breach all the gatehouses before this this is it's the final place to defense basically the entire palace which Actually, if I looked it up correctly, again, if I'm wrong, please do tell me, but most palaces would have like some kind of gate or some kind of wall surrounding it. Because again, it's the palace, just like a castle, it would mostly be like the final layer or final place of defense because that's where the leader is. So makes sense to have a gate there. And now finally... The most ridiculous building or nature. Well, it's not. Well, I actually make it into a building because it's just a reference to me calling myself a squirrel constantly. But yeah, we're building a mega tree. Like, we have already a mega bridge. We have kind of a big planetarium. Also, a brick palace. And then, well, yeah. This is just my squirrel home. <laughs> I have no idea what was happening in my brain when I built this. Though I did take a huge amount of references from Wix's build, which again, Wix is another plant coaster creator with an amazing huge fantasy tree. So I just, yes, it's up on YouTube how he built it. So I'm probably going to link that down below because... I am just the worst at explaining how to build things, so he might, he, well he might, he probably will do a better job at explaining that, so I will probably link his video down below. But yeah, I took a huge amount of references from how he built it. But I always wanted to just have like a mega tree just to honor my part scrollness. And that squirrel thing really just started out as a joke, but like slowly I've been realizing that the more and more I look at like how I act and such that yes, I am more and more like a squirrel. Or at least I realize that I'm really like a squirrel. Like I love to climb things. Alia can probably state that as fact because with the plant coaster meetup, I wanted to climb the Efteling entrance. I always wanted to try that, like ever since I was a little boy. So, yeah. 
I am very, well, I wouldn't say I have a complete short attention span, but I'm very easily distracted. And, well, the only thing actually that's completely against being a squirrel is that I don't really like nuts. Or peanuts or any kind of seed thing. Yeah, that's probably the only thing that sets me apart from being a squirrel. <laughs> Though, Aya, if you are seeing this, I still want to build... Well, not build, because that would be crazy to build the Efteling entrance. But I still want to climb it. And also, when building this tree, I was just thinking like... Alright, how would I get up there? Yeah, that was literally the thoughts going through my head when building this. Also... How do I make this look somewhat natural? Because when you think of a tree, you think, well, the tree wood part, and then the basically the all the uh, leaves and such, the crown. Or anyway, you guys know that I'm really bad with names and terminology. Well, term if I say it too many. T times eventually it will become the correct word that's just my way of thinking like continue saying it wrong until you say it correctly <laughs> or just give up entirely which i'm going to do now but yeah with the tree to make it look natural it has to have like at the roots it needs to be a little bit broader then it slims down until it broadens again at the top and uh well with the tree being huge and also built out of like the jungle roots it was uh, it was quite something to not make it look like a jungle tree that was just like you could easily well not easily like but you could make it look like a fantasy tree more easily to make it look like a somewhat realistic tree i say as i'm building a mega tree like i can see how I'm trying to make up an excuse on how to make this tree look realistic. But if I'm correct, which I'm probably not, but please do comment down below if I am or am just completely wrong. There isn't there something in nature where sometimes like animals or plants just become huge, like some kind of gig giganticism or something where just in like an area or something things just become huge <laughs> i think it was like well you have to like the giant squid which if i'm correct also is a real thing and is huge so there is probably something that or like in some places that animals just become huge over time or with evolution and such yeah i'm really trying to stretch for an excuse for this tree aren't i <laughs> This episode is really weird, but I think that's to be expected from a Poison Blade episode. It's just weird, just me rambling around and in the end I always love it. Because, well, the commentary always just goes completely a 180 on what I think the commentary should be. <laughs> anyway. Because I wanted it to be like a house. First I thought of like building a hammock or something like that. But uh, no, just a tree. The tree is just my house. I like it. And also, yeah, it feels sort of natural. Also, I still want to climb it. I do see like a logical path up the tree. Which again might be my squirrel thing. But now building some, well first I wanted to make like some kind of like net that holds like amber or like solidified tree resin just to make it a, even a little bit more like fancy like. But when building like that, well, bulbous thing, it just, it might have been because I've watched a little bit too much of like horror games, but it just looked like, um, I don't know, just something like that you would see in a horror game. Like something that would be like pulsating and that you would need to shoot. Yeah, it's, it just didn't fit with me. So in the end, I just went with a little bit more of like a sleeker, somewhat sleeker look. 
still having like the colors of like solidified resin or amber if i'm correct yeah but also it looks sort of okay-ish and yeah i'm quickly picking up a lamp from somewhere else because i don't like the well basically the lighting that's standard in the game which is a little bit too yellowish for me but i just basically plopped four of these lamps down all over the place and it worked but anyways that's going to be it for today's video i'm going to finish the palace off in the weekend so when the castle's finished it's even more of a surprise but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you do i hope to see you back in the next one I wish you all an amazing weekend and bye-bye.